Hello, welcome to the OpenShift tutorial series. I am Milind. OpenShift is a cloud development platform as a service developed by Red Hat. This tutorial will help you to understand OpenShift and how it works. This tutorial has been prepared for those who want to understand the features and functionalities of OpenShift and learn how it can help in building cloud-enabled services and applications. OpenShift supports a very large variety of applications which can be easily developed and deployed on the OpenShift cloud platform. OpenShift basically supports three kinds of platforms for developers and users. Infrastructure as a service. In this format, the service provider provides hardware level virtual machines with some predefined virtual hardware configuration. Infrastructure as a service has one drawback and that is user still responsible for installing and maintaining the operating system, the server packages, the network infrastructure and the taking care of basic system administration. Software as a service. With SaaS, one has the least worry about underlying infrastructure. It is as simple as plug and play, wherein the user just has to sign up for the services and start using it. The main drawback with this setup is one can only perform a minimal amount of customization which is allowed by service provider. The most common example of SaaS is Gmail where the user just needs to log in and start using it. Platform as a service It can be considered as a middle layer between SaaS and IAS. The primary target of PaaS evaluation is for developers in which the development environment can spin up with a few commands. These environments are designed in such a way that they can satisfy all the deployment needs. Right from having a web application server with a database. To do this you just require a single command and the service provider does the stuff for you. OpenShift Platform as a Service provides complete set of Kubernetes components to deploy applications. It manages availability of underlying Kubernetes components. Red Hat provides advanced security features such as security context constraint and service account. We will look into it more in depth in our upcoming videos. OpenShift has two types of web console to manage the cluster, administrator and developer. Red Hat is offering OpenShift in flavors. First, Origin. It is an open source version and it is known as Upstream Project. OpenShift Online multi-tenant cloud-based container platform managed by Red Hat. OpenShift dedicated single tenant cloud-based container platform this also managed by Red Hat. OpenShift container platform the container platform software for customers to deploy and manage on their own in an infrastructure of their own choice. Community distribution of Kubernetes. It is optimized for continuous application deployment and multi-tenant deployment. Viewers who wants to understand and learn OpenShift should have a basic knowledge of Docker and Kubernetes. Docker containers are the building blocks of any containerized platform. So you must know Docker. Kubernetes is the underlying component for OpenShift 
so you must have hands-on practice of it. Basically, Kubernetes deploy Docker containers and perform orchestration tasks. OpenShift has tools which operates on underlying Kubernetes components. SCM for core repository integration like GitLab, GitHub. Builds which performed on application code. OpenShift uses the Jenkins CI CD pipeline to build applications. Internal registry to store the locally built in images. We will get a deep understanding of it in upcoming lectures. If you want to understand any system, you need to first know about its architecture. So let's look into OpenShift architecture. There are containers that gets deployed inside deployment. Then we create a service object to expose the application to users. We know all these basic structure of Kubernetes. OpenShift provides a web console to define the underlying Kubernetes resources. The SCM tool provides a built-in support for Git to connect to a repository. With OpenShift pipeline, you can customize CI CD solutions to build, test, and deploy application. OpenShift has a built-in image registry to push and pull the container's images. It provides an out-of-the-box solution for users to manage images that they run their workloads. Now let's look into what ways we can install OpenShift. OpenShift installation can be divided into three categories. All in one, it is a single node cluster which has all the components inside a single unit. When master multiple nodes. There is a single node for master that means it does not have high availability of master node. Multiple master, multiple node. This category is mainly preferred infrastructure for production grade cluster. As we are focusing on learning OpenShift, we will go with all in one category. We will install code-ready containers. Code-ready containers bring a minimal OpenShift cluster to your local computer. This cluster provides minimal environment for developer and testing. The main target is to provide a running cluster to developers. Code-ready container includes containers with Kubernetes components along with OpenShift tools. Well, it's enough talking. Let's do the demo. In the demo, we will see how to set up and get started with code-ready containers. In this demo, I will show you how to install code-ready containers. For this demo, I'm using Ubuntu machine with KVM. You can verify the KVM is installed or not. So you can check that using KVM OK command. Once you verify that your KVM is running, the KVM is used to run the virtual machine which will run the OpenShift cluster. I have prepared a document for the installation process. I have mentioned in the document the prerequisite information which you can follow. To install code-ready containers, you need to download the CRC binary and the pool secret. For that, you need to log in into Red Hat website. So let's log in into Red Hat website. In this documentation, I have provided the information about the hardware and the packages which is needed. Also provided a link to Red Hat website. So let's log in into Red Hat website. If you do not have an account with Red Hat, you can create it for free. So let's log in into Red Hat website. Once you are logged in, you can see the instructions in this page. First, you need to download the code-ready containers binary and after that you need to download the pool secret. 
So let's download the code ready containers binary. Code ready containers download might take a time. It depends on your internet speed. So now let's download pool secret. Once we are finished with downloading, let's follow the next instructions. So next, we need to run CRC setup command to set up the host for code ready containers virtual machine and then CRC start command. So let's run these commands. First, we need to extract the CRC binary and put it into USR local bin directory. Let's go into the download directory and extract the tar file which has been downloaded. Now let's move the CRC binary to USR local bin location. Change the directory to CRC and now move the CRC binary to USR local bin. So for that you need to be sudo Okay, now let's run the CRC setup command. So before that, we need to go back to our downloads directory where we have downloaded our pool secret. So let's run CRC setup command. As you can see, the setup command has checking all the settings which is required to install code ready containers. It is saying us that you can run the CRC start command to start the OpenShift cluster. But before that, we need to set the pool secret. Let's set the pool secret. So for that, you can use CRC config set pool secret file and the file name. Once you have successfully configured the pool secret, then you can run the CRC start command to start the OpenShift cluster. Let me clear the screen. Then we can run the CRC start command. This command might take some time. Once the CRC setup command is successful, you will see the OpenShift cluster link along with two users which you can use to log in into the cluster. First is kubeadmin and second is developer. So to log in into the cluster, we can use CRC console command. So let's use CRC console. The CRC console command will launch a default browser which you have configured for your system. You can use kubeadm user to log in as an administrator in the cluster. I've copied the password and I paste it and then click on login. Once you are successfully logged in with the kubeadmin user, you can see this dashboard. You can see there are options available to administer your console along with the status of your cluster. Now let's log out and log in with the developer user. Now Let's log in with developer user. Once you are successfully logged in with developer credential, you can see the dashboard of a developer console. 
After this, we will see how we can use OC command to log in into the cluster from the command line. So let's log out from the developer console. We can use OC login command with the developer user and the API URL of OpenShift cluster. As you can see, you have successfully logged in with developer user from the command line. So that's it for this demo.